God bless you, family. King Jesus bless you. Love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I'm glad you're here. And I have something very interesting and cool to be talking about today. So this YouTube channel, the guy's called God's Roadmap. So he put out on his Telegram channel some information today talking about tomorrow, July 11th, 7-11. Could that be uh, the next 9-11? When a 9-11 event type of thing is going to happen? Could that 9-11 event be the rapture? The catching away? Well, get this. All right. We know that these these devilish ones in this world, um, <clears throat> you know, when the devil is doing his thing, he has to leave trails. Um, I don't see this necessarily in scripture, but I see it in the world. Like, they're always showing their hand in a hidden way. And those of us who are looking see it, and then we can speak. We can blow the horn. We can say, get ready. We can say, heads up. <clears throat> type of thing okay so something is up alright so he points out so the singer Katy Perry of course you know she's in the club she's uh, one that has been used for propaganda for pushing a uh, wicked culture upon the masses especially young people right you can see a lot of symbolism in her music in her how she dresses uh, her music videos uh, the lyrics that she sings, definitely uh, Antichrist-esque uh, style to her. <clears throat> okay, so she posted on her on her social media yesterday, the 9th, today is July 10th, uh, she had a picture of herself looking like uh, she was coming through a portal, and she says, sleep tight, for tomorrow the portal opens. Okay. All right, so very, uh, very interesting about this portal, okay? And not just that regarding, uh, you know, a portal. What could that be? Uh, you know, a portal to glory and maybe King Jesus coming, maybe right behind the angel with the blast of the, the trumpet and the voice of the archangel. King Jesus coming right there too. Um, okay, and then in another post by her, for a new song that she's releasing she writes on it and it's in her lyrics you can see the little video clip and she's singing and you know this is what's so dangerous about music we can't just let anything come into our ears you know because it might have a really nice beat and we might really enjoy it find ourselves singing along some some satanic chanting lyrics could be a spell could be something really wicked and uh, what she's saying in hers is baby we ain't going away could this be the Antichrist putting a little trail out there? Speaking of truth, he intermingles the lies with the truth. Could this be one of those true things? The culture is singing and dancing, being like, yeah, we ain't going nowhere. Yeah, if you don't know Jesus, you ain't going nowhere. You're staying here on earth. You will go into the tribulation. Wow, isn't that just like the devil, right? He'll tempt you. He'll say, cross the line. When he crosses the line, he's the accuser. He's running to the Lord, accusing people. Go get him. Uh, or Lord, let me go get them. They sin, right? Another reason it's so important that we don't play with sin as believers because when the accuser goes to the Lord, uh, the Lord will say, all right, accuser, you may. You know, like, like unto Job, do everything but don't take his life. Or, <clears throat> as we've talked about from King Jesus speaking to the churches in the book of Revelation, sometimes your mortality can be snuffed out. You play with sin, you roll the dice it can be over. Okay, so those two pieces are interesting. And then there's two video clips of, of um, Barack Obama and uh, Donald Trump talking. And the one of Barack Obama is from seven years ago, or at least it was posted seven years ago. And he was talking and speaking against Donald Trump, and he was really disparaging him, saying, you know, this guy, you know, he shouldn't even be able to get a job at 7-Eleven, he mentions, uh, July 11th. A lot of times it's coded, it, it's put in there, and it might be like, no, Kevin, he's just talking about the, the, the gas station 7-Eleven. Yeah, that's what they want us to think, but it can be coded, it can be multiple meanings. Yeah, for the story's sake, 7-Eleven, we get that, but, but there can be underlying things there <clears throat> pointing to uh, a 9-11 type event on 7-Eleven, on, um, July 11th. Okay, and then the second video, Trump was speaking, and he said, uh, he was talking about when he was down at the, the towers 
in, in Manhattan, New York City, uh, September 11, 2001. And he was saying, I was down there with uh, the emergency people or the firefighters or something like that. He said, um, on 7-Eleven, right in front of the tower. He said 7-Eleven. Um, you know, like, okay, <laughs> that's interesting. It's 9-Eleven. How can you say 7-Eleven? Code, it could be, uh, you know, the spirit that was in him, the handlers that are above him. Hey, we want you to just say 7-Eleven. And whether he knows at a high level or not, he might be like, why? He might be like, just say it. Or maybe he, he knows, maybe he, he knows so much that, yeah, that's right, we're gonna do something on 7-Eleven in the future. Um, I don't know when, or maybe he does know, he knows, yeah, it's, that's coming in 2024. <clears throat> so, these are a couple signs I wanted to share. God's roadmap, again, he uh, put this info out there, and, and uh, quite fascinating, but uh, we are not unaware of his devices. We know how the devil operates, right? <clears throat> okay, lastly, Elon Musk also had a post on his social media. He just had a picture of a 7-Eleven. And this was from when? Uh, this was actually 2022. But again, they'll forecast stuff in advance. But he has a picture of um, the signage for 7-Eleven where they show the gas prices. And regular and diesel both show 7.11, 7-Eleven. All right, so we've got a few prominent people in culture. And again, if you worship Satan, he'll give you the kingdoms of this earth. You've got Katy Perry, you got Elon Musk, you've got uh, two presidents um, saying things towards 7-Eleven. If you worship the devil, he said, I will give you these kingdoms. So those who have high power, you worship the devil, I'll give you that $20 million contract. I'll give you the, uh, the magazine cover story do those wicked things you give sacrifices to the devil you do wicked abominable things that the lord says is an abomination the devil loves and he'll bless you here on earth for that disobedience he loves that when it's an affront to the lord right to his face the devil's like yes i got you i'll give you things on earth you know these people not knowing it, it is to the slaughter it is on the conveyor belt to slaughter uh, they're short-minded though right they don't they they don't understand that there is a hereafter that there is a judgment and, of course, they don't understand because they don't have the Holy Spirit. And these things are discerned by the Spirit. So be ready. Be on guard. Be in the Spirit. Be uh, feeding your spirit, not your flesh, right? There are so many moving things going on. And, you know, when they spray the air, who knows what kind of things could be getting into us inadvertently to, to fog us, to confuse us like a, st a stun grenade, uh, to shock and awe us. Where all of a sudden we're wondering, why do I have this headache? Why do I feel so terrible? I'm healthy. I don't do drugs. I uh, work out all the time. I get my sleep. I, you know, all these things. And then you're like, I feel terrible. So, uh, you know, as the assault comes upon us, we need to be so striving on that narrow path, seeking Jesus. Um, you know, not just avoiding sin in our actions, but let's take it deeper to those other levels. Our heart, our will, our desires, fighting those memories using the shield against the fiery arrows from Satan. Um, we need to just be reminded of all of these things. These things I speak to you, uh, you guys know about it. And uh, yeah, I just say it to your remembrance to be sharp. Tomorrow could potentially be a big thing. It could be nothing. Or it could be something that happens in the physical world or the spiritual, the spiritual realm that maybe we don't hear about. But it can be another kind of log in the, you know, another puzzle piece going towards this beast system towards this deception coming after the rapture <clears throat> a lot of these uh, pieces are going into, into place so definitely that was all my spirit to share with you guys uh, very interesting things they're doing little winks towards 7-eleven so uh, be prayed up maybe even incorporate some fasting maybe i'll do some of that going into to, tomorrow as well but Anyways, I hope this blessed you guys. Stay strong. Stay close to King Jesus. You're going to be fine. It doesn't matter all this bad news, all these moving pieces, all this deception that's multi-layered. Whatever. We have the Holy Spirit of God in us. These demons should shudder when we walk anywhere. And I speak this to myself too to help myself remember this. Like Kevin, you are a walking temple. The triune Godhead is in you. Nothing can touch you. And that what you know can afflict me and bother me nothing it's a bee buzzing around bothering me it's nothing we are conquerors king jesus is coming 
he's going to get us. We're going home. That judgment that's going to come in the book of Revelation where the saints are saying, good, praise you, God. It is good and right for you to do this. There's going to be a moment where we're going to be like, get them, Lord. This whole world has not repented of their wickedness. They hate you. They hated us. And uh, that judgment will be hefty, will be heavy. And yet the Lord is still long-suffering. Still, um, many will come to, to salvation during the tribulation. Great revival. That's when I think the revival is coming. But uh, we have a glorious inheritance. We have great power. Don't ever forget it, no matter what you're going through. But do walk very circumspectly in these wicked days. Nothing is just a mundane activity no more. We're not just going to the store, going down the block like be aware of everything. Be in the spirit. Be praying always. And you guys are going to be just fine. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please hit the thumbs up and share my video. I will see you next time. God bless you.